guys! Today I am going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've done one. I went to Dollar Tree like weeks ago with one of my friends, but I only purchased a couple of things. It definitely wasn't enough to what I felt like would be worthy of a haul. So I did end up going today and I found a lot of stuff. Um, so it definitely was enough for me to do a haul. So I'm going to show the couple of things first that I had gotten like weeks ago when I was with my friend and then we'll get to the new stuff. So these were all new products to me. Uh, the first thing I got was this Vaseline Lip Therapy and this is the Cocoa Butter Flavor and it just looks like that. This is a very large sized tin. I did already try this. It's very nice, feels great on the lips, and it has a pleasant scent. So I do like that, definitely worth a dollar. Um, They also had an aloe vera scent, and they still had plenty of these when I was there today. I was thinking of getting the aloe vera, but I didn't, so. But I got that. Um, I purchased this Scoonchi Everyday and Active um, hairband, headband, I guess you would call it. Um, it actually says it is reflective. Those purple dots are reflective, but this feels really nice. So, you know, this would be good if you're using it um, when you're out like jogging or running like in the evening hours. I'm probably just gonna use it to keep my hair back when I'm doing like dishes or something. So I got that. Um, they had a bunch of these uh, shea butter hand creams that are shaped like the fruits. Uh, when I went back today, there was only one left. Um, but when I was there, when they had all of them, I only purchased the peach because I knew that that's the one I probably would like the most because I like peach scents. So I did get the peach and this is in the cutest, cutest container. And I was, I was leery at first with these. Um, since they're Dollar Tree brand, I've never really wowed a lot by like Dollar Tree brand. Um, but these are actually really nice. So they come in little, this one's supposed to look like a peach, kind of looks like a butt. Uh, but they come in little containers that are shaped like the, the scent they're supposed to be. And if you haven't seen these before, it does come with like the little pull tab thingy here. And then inside is your cream. And the, the lotion itself is very thick. It's a super thick consistency. It feels really good on the skin. And the smell, it smells exactly like peach. There's no fake kind of scent to it. And that's what really kind of surprised me because, you know, typically to me anyway, I just don't think Dollar Tree brands, like the brand, like the Greenbrier brand isn't all that fantastic. And sometimes, you know, you see hauls and people buying stuff and they like rave on and on about things and you're just kind of like, then you go to the store and you smell them or you look at them and you're like, huh? You know, like I don't feel the same way. Uh, that happens a lot with the candles. Um, but the hand creams, if you're seeing people with these and they're raving about them, it's true. It's the truth. They are really nice. It has some Mountain Dew left in it, but they have these super cute glasses. I've already used these, obviously. Um, I've had these for a while now. But they look like Coca-Cola cans. Like they look just like the Coca-Cola cans, but they are glasses. Super cute. I bought two of these, um, one that I can use and one for my boyfriend, and we absolutely love them. They're adorable, uh, very thick, sturdy, and I would totally buy more of these. I grab them all the time when I need a drink. They're very, very cute. And I got this book. This one is called Turnaround Bright Eyes. It says a karaoke journey of starting over, falling in love, and finding your voice by Rob Sheffield. I know I read another book by Rob Sheffield and um, I did enjoy it. So I figured I would try this one out as well. So those were the things I got when I was with her and now we're gonna move on to the stuff I bought today. 
Um, so the first thing I found, they had a bunch of different ones of these. They are called Moodles. And I think that's a play on the word doodles because it's a book. It says Moodles are doodles with the power to change your mood. And they had different moods. They had happy, grumpy, I think angry and stressed. And I'm trying to get, get away from the stressed and the anger and the grumpy and focus on the happy. So that's why I purchased the happy. But it's really cute. It has different pages in here and you're to do to do what it says. Like here's a cup. It says fill your cup with moodles so it runneth over. It just gives you like little things to do. Um, moodle yourself as a superstar. Just it's like a doodling kind of book. Nothing beats a homemade meal to warm your soul. What are you cooking? And you just draw in food. Cheer up this old deer. Moodle in the rest of her body. So it gives you like the deer's head and then you draw the rest. It's so really cute and interactive. Like this would be great, I think, for adults, teenagers especially. Um, but yeah, I thought it was super cute. I only purchased the one, but I definitely was interested in the others. But like I said, I would, you know, I wanted to focus on the happy and not like when I feel stressed and angry and things like that. So I got that and I thought that was super cool. Um, let's see. Staying on the books, I found the Corey Feldman choreography memoir. I'm super excited to read this one. Um, yeah, this is gonna be an awesome read. So I was really excited to find that it was like back behind a bunch of other books. So I love looking at the books at Dollar Tree. So I got that. Um, I purchased this box of Good Sense um, trash bags. These are just the tall uh, kitchen bags with the vanilla scent. I don't use these as kitchen bags. I do buy like name brand um, kitchen bags. But I have used these before and I like them. And what I use them for is I keep them upstairs. So when I'm dumping like the bathroom trash and the computer room trash, so I'm not using a um, good, so I'm not using a good trash bag. I mean, these work fine. But when I'm not using like um, one of my good trash bags, I like to use these for just dumping the upstairs trash um, because I don't always fill it all the way full. So I don't want to waste a good trash bag. So that's what I got them for. And, but these, these work fine. And they do have a nice light vanilla scent to them. So that's always nice. Um, I found these. I haven't used them before. If anyone has, you'll have to let me know if they're any good. They're just the garbage disposal cleaners. You get three or six of them in here. And I believe they're fresh citrus scented. So I got those to try out. I don't typically use garbage disposal cleaner. Um, occasionally we'll put like apple cider vinegar down there or something like that. But I figured I would try them out and see if they're any good. I don't recall ever seeing them before. Maybe I just wasn't looking. I'm not always observant when I go to Dollar Tree. Uh, I found this compact trimmer and it says it's good for eyebrows, uh, face and bikini line, but I got this for my boyfriend. Um, I know his, I think is, I don't know if the blades are getting dull on it or what. Um, I think he typically buys his at Kohl's or maybe Walmart, I don't know. But for a dollar, I figured he could try this one out and see if he likes it. He tends to use it kind of in between haircuts on like, you know, neck hair that men get that grows in, um, just in between haircuts. So got that for him to try out. Just got this Renews It Hawaiian Oasis um, air freshener thing. These are actually a little bit cheaper at Walmart, but I just buy these to put in our walk-in closet since, you know, there's no windows or anything in there. Um, you know, closets can get kind of like stuffy and stuff like that. So I just like to keep a air freshener kind of thing like that in there just to keep it smelling all nice and good. 
Um, I did buy this candle, and this is by the Old Williamsburg Candle Company, and it is scented as Italian Ice. Now, as far as Dollar Tree candles go, a lot of them are hit and miss. I do like the Old Williamsburg Candle Company candles, though. I feel like not only are they in really nice, containers like they're not cheapo containers or in like a thick like mason jar kind of container but the scents are actually really nice they smell good they don't smell fake kind of smell smelling and the scent throw is pretty good so I got the what did I say it was Italian ice it smells really really nice though so I am and it's a pretty like mint green kind of color so I'm excited to try that out and see some of Dollar Tree's candles, like, they're barely full. Like, the containers are, like, halfway full or something like that. And I just think that's so wasteful. I mean, I know it's only a dollar, but even still, like, I'm totally turned off by that. So, you know, I like, I like these candles, and I like the fact that they're also filled. I mean, this is all pretty much, like, lid lip to me that this, this thing goes on. So I do consider this, obviously, to be filled. But I got that. Um, I purchased this, uh, what do they call it? A garden stake. It's of this really cute flower. It's made of like a tin metal. And it has these pink uh, rhinestones around the center. And it's just kind of long like this that you can put in the ground. I got this to put at my mom's grave site. Um, I just thought it would look really cute. I did have like a solar angel there, but it just, I had to throw it away because over time it just became gross and, you know, the elements just messed it all up. So I got this to replace that angel and I thought this would be perfect for spring and summer. You really have to check though with these, like there was some that were missing these, um, flower petals there were some missing rhinestones some where the rhinestones were all just haywire um this was the best one that i saw so definitely if you're looking at these just keep an eye out on the the quality of them but this one looks really really good so i got that for her and i figure after spring and summer if it still looks like it's in decent condition i'll bring it home and set it out front of my house by like my garden flag um, I got this bag of Chupa Chups lollipops. I love these things. These have the best of. There's creamy fruit and cola. I've only ever had the creamy variety, which I really like. So I was really interested in the cola flavor though, because I never had their um, cola flavor. And... I think these are made in Mexico, if I do believe so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're made in Mexico. But I really love these kind of lollipops. I think they're like super creamy, great flavor. And the sticks that they're on aren't like normal lollipop sticks. You know, normal lollipop stick, when you're sucking on it, it's like made of like a papery cardboard. It gets wet and gross and disgusting. The Chupa Chups lollipops are on a plastic stick, so they don't get gross when you're sucking on the lollipop. And it's super good flavor. So I really like those. And I'm really anxious to try that cola one. Um, I got a pack of Bubblicious Gum. This is a three pack. It comes with two strawberries and one regular bubble gum flavor. I got these to take to work for me. I started a new job and they do actually allow you to chew gum. So I'm excited for that. So I wanted to get a um, pack of gum to take to work. Um, I got this. Dakota iced latte. This is the mocha flavor. I saw some people hauling these. I saw people were getting vanilla as well. My store did not have vanilla, just the mocha. Um, this was pretty good. I already drank it. If you are curious, if you're having a hard time finding these, check your refrigerated section if your store has a refrigerated section because that's where these were, which was nice because then I could just grab it from the refrigerator and I had something to drink when I got outside to the car. This was good though. Um, I'd really like to try the vanilla. 
they're they're definitely worth a dollar i would purchase them again but they weren't like amazing i've had definitely better like iced coffees before um it was a tad bit on the watery side but still it was good and i'd i'd repurchase it again wow at dollar tree because that's that's a good deal for a dollar i know i buy other iced coffee drinks and they're super pricey like four dollars I think the kind I like is like four dollars a can like three something um granted it's amazing uh but it is pricey so these are definitely a good deal if you like iced coffees but don't want to pay a lot um I got my dog a toy I already took it off of the uh, packaging because she was playing with it it's just like a little leopard and its body here is crinkly and then it has a squeaker in the head um she has toys from the dollar tree that are very much like this shaped like this and everything like that but this one had the crinkly bit and i hadn't seen any before that had crinklies she doesn't have any that have the crinkles so i got those for her I got one thing of washi tape. I really liked the look of this one. It was just kind of like a pastel -y pink and blue with hearts. So I thought that was really cute. Not like I needed it. This is one thing that I bought that I didn't really necessarily need. I just liked it. They had a lot of cute stickers. I did not buy any though because I don't need them. And I really try to like limit myself to not buy things at Dollar Tree unless like I need it. You know what I mean? Because you know, if you guys know, if you go to Dollar Tree, it can get crazy sometimes and you just end up with a lot of stuff. So I try not to go to go crazy. Um, I did get this cryo pack ice pack. Um, this is a larger one. They also had smaller ones and we use these for both me and my boyfriend's lunches. Um, I typically put my lunch in the refrigerator at work, but until I get to work, I do like to keep an ice pack in my lunch box, especially since summer is coming. That'll be nice. So if this works well, I'll probably pick up a couple more, maybe some of the small ones too. I saw someone else haul these. Um, I believe it was Gypsy Sarah. Um, shout out to Gypsy Sarah. If um, you guys like Dollar Tree hauls, I love watching her videos. She's so relaxing to me watching her. Um, she does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. She does um, like decluttering videos and kind of like empties and shop my stash kind of videos. So, um, I definitely love watching her and I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it was her that hauled these. Um, they are by Aromance and they are wax melts in the scent of soft lilac petals. And when she hauled these, I was like, oh my God, if they smell as good as I'm imagining, I have to get them. And they had them at Dollar Tree and oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. I absolutely love the smell of lilacs. They were my mom's favorite like spring flower. So they remind me of her. Oh, it smells so good. So, so good. I hope these have a really nice throw. I think they were going to be perfect, perfect, perfect for Easter to put in my wax warmers. So I was really excited to find that and was super pleased at the scent of them. So while I was there, I found another of the Shea Butter Hand Lotions. This was the last one in the store. Um... I figured I would buy it because it was the last one and I really liked the peach one so I thought I would give the lemon a whirl. So I want to open this up and smell it, see if it smells as nice as the peach. But again, you can see like the packaging is in, like it looks like a lemon. Like it looks like a kid's like play fruit kind of thing. So let's give this one a sniff. Yep, it smells like lemon. It smells like a lemon head and candy. It smells very, very good. So yeah, that was a good purchase too. So I just think these are so freaking cute. You know, I would love to see more, more of these in different scents. Like I would like to see a banana, a cherry, a strawberry. 
definitely. So now I have a, a peach and a lemon. And the last thing I got were these Oh Snap Pickling Company Dilly Bites. They are fresh dill pickles. And I was excited to find these. Um, I was seeing other people haul them on the Dollar Tree Haulers um, Facebook group. And people were saying that Walmart actually sells these for cheaper, like maybe around like 97 cents. And they were saying they were in like the, Wal like the Walmart like deli section. So when I was seeing people haul these, I just assumed they were finding them on like the shelf. But these are actually going to be in the refrigerated section. It says to keep refrigerated. So if you're looking for these or having a hard time finding them, definitely check the refrigerated section as well as with the iced coffees. So like I said, I was excited to try these. I think they're going to be good. Like a part of me wants to eat one now, but I'd like to save these for um, my lunch for work. So I'm not going to try one right now. Uh, but that is everything as far as my Dollar Tree haul goes. It's a pretty decent sized Dollar Tree haul. I definitely don't have Dollar Tree hauls very, very um, frequently or anything like that. Um, it's just like I said, when I go in there, I try to only buy what I need or um, what I know I'm going to, to use because... It can get crazy sometimes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. You have to let me know what you thought down below. And I will see you next time. I just turned off my camera. And I was like, I have to try these pickles. So I opened it up and I tried one. They're delicious. Completely delicious. And you get a good, a good amount in there. I don't know if you guys can see. I already ate one, but there seems to be a decent sized handful in there. So they'd be great for packing in your lunch. So yes, now you know.